royal visit comes to an end with a call for action from King Charles III for partnership and commitment in combating environmental threats. Today, he visited the United Nations office in Gigiri, Nairobi, the Karura Forest, David Sheldrick Foundation Orphanage, and Commonwealth Graves in Nairobi, as Sheila Chilangat reports. For the second day of their visit in the country, King Charles III and Queen Camilla started their day by visiting the Karyako Cemetery, preserved by the Commonwealth, named after the Karya Corps of the World War I. Here, King Charles and the Queen came to pay respect to the memorial of the wounded in the First and Second World Wars. And as a sign of their respect, King Charles, together with Queen Camilla, placed flower wreaths on these graves. These veterans who fought in the war were not left behind and got the rare chance of being awarded medals by the king. Much to your surprise, they've come back. <laughs> <laughs> After here, the king was welcomed by the Director General of the United Nations offices in the country, Zainab Hawa Bangura, where in his speech he emphasized the need for countries to join in the fight against climate change. Later Later, he would visit Karura Forest, where he planted an Elgon tick tree with 10-year-old environmental activist Karen Kimani, who had wrote a letter to Buckingham Palace asking if King Charles could plant a tree with her. <laughs> King Charles also partnered with the world-famous marathoner Eliud Kipchoge to launch a 15-kilometer race dubbed Run for Nature. I, I, I am a lover of environment, I conserve environment. I have a foundation called Eliud Kipchoge Foundation, which uh, the key factor number one is conservation of environment, and that's why I'm here. Tomorrow, King Charles and Queen Camilla will be visiting Mombasa County. Sheila Chalangat for TV 47. Thank you, Sheila, for that. Now listen to this.